So today's topic is trigonometry. All right. So I'll start with the basic things. We have this word trigonometry, which is actually a combination of trigo, that is triangle, metron, which is measurement. Alright. So when we talk about trigonometry, we have to keep in mind that uh, we talk about a right angled triangle. So this is uh, a right angled triangle and uh, I write the three edges or the vertices as A, B, C and we have a right angle at B so this triangle is right angled at B this is how we uh, say these things so this triangle we write the symbol of triangle ABC is right angled at B. Cool. Now we take any other angle. Let's take angle C here. So measure of angle C, let's take the measure of angle C is theta. Theta is just a measure. Okay. So it could be 60 degree. The possibility is 60 degree, 30 degree, 45 degrees, 42 degrees. So any possibility can be put here. So theta is just a name of a, a angle. And uh, what commonly is used is theta, alpha, beta, gamma as well phi, etc. Alright, now we'll, I, I'm going to name the sides. We have three sides in this triangle and that is uh, that happens with all the triangles. A triangle has three sides. That's it. So this is A, B. So what is the name of this side? So I'll put the name, but before putting it, just keep in mind, same side can have two names when we flip the angle theta. Suppose our theta is at C here, and if the theta is at A, then the name of this side AB could be different. So what we have to keep in mind is that if a theta is given, the side just in front of theta, in front of theta is called perpendicular. So it's perpendicular, perpendicular. All right, and the side by the side of theta or along theta is called base, and this is the smaller side. So, uh, what we can do, what we can do is that we have put the name of perpendicular because that is just in front of theta. So, uh, we can also say the side in front of right angle is called hypotenuse. And what is left is base. So, here 
AB is perpendicular. BC is base and AC is hypotenuse. All right. So you can make a note of it as well. Now I'm going to rub this page. I'll draw this triangle once again because now we're going to learn the relations. This is B. Oh, oh no, no, no. This was C. Yes. Wait a minute. My drawing is not so bad, but I'm struggling with this uh, techie things. This is my B, the right angle. This is A, this is C. Alright, so this is perpendicular, this is hypotenuse, and this is base. So now we talk about the relations in trigonometry. We talk about six relations, and this is the relations between the angles and the sides. The first one is sine, then comes cosine, and then comes tan. The inverse of sine is cosec, cosine is sec, and for tan it is cot. In writing the relation, first we write sine. We ignore the e, and we don't uh, read it sin, we read it sine. Okay, and uh, here we put the angle. Here we have this angle theta, so we will put the angle theta. And the sine theta relation is actually perpendicular by hypotenuse. So this is our perpendicular and this is our hypotenuse. So we will put P by H. Cos theta is base by hypotenuse, B by H. Tan theta is perpendicular by base. These are just the relations. Perpendicular by base is tan. Cos is perpendicular, uh, sorry, base by hypotenuse. And sine is perpendicular by hypotenuse. And okay, we talked about the cosec. So cosec is actually cosec theta is actually inverse of sine. So this is if uh, sine theta is p by h, then we'll put h by p. Sec theta is uh, b by oh uh, sorry sorry. It's not B, it's H. Okay. So it's uh, H by B and cot theta is B by B. Cool. Now, this is we're done with the relations.
Now, how is this relation useful? So, the uses of these relations. It's quite simple. If uh, the side is given, these two sides are given, and we know the angle 